It's actually a little embarrassing to say the adventure begins here. Got the Jackery charging the laptop there. Um, this place is just a mess because I've been living in it. So as soon as I'm done uh, morning of carpentry, I'm just going to haul everything out of here, repack, reorganize, make sure I've got a little place to sleep in one side of the back of the car for tonight. As the evening sets in, we've uh, classified our very first pan. Kind of some cool looking quartz here. You can tell there's a lot larger rocks in the area. So I'm not going to try to do this with one hand again because all you can really do is shake back and forth. So I'm going to two hand this and I'll catch you at the bottom of the pan. I have really nothing else to do until bedtime. So I've got a headlamp so I can get back up to the car. And man, this is bad video here. Sorry, guys. Uh, Let's set this down somewhere where I can actually show you what's going on. So, focus enhance. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so there it is. You've got a, a chunk with some character to it. They're tiny chunks. Some other stuff. And this is the just a little bit amount of flour um, from that first pan. That was the sort of light section. So kind of behind this rock here right in here and it was four scoops with the little baby shovel um, which also doubles as a really nice walking stick but I'm gonna do three shovels next time because having the pan that full I think it just slowed me down at the beginning because it's a real big heavy pan and I'm gonna try to just I'm not gonna treat it quite like Alberta but I just want to do a little bit of surface panning in along behind this big boulder here and then I'm going to start sort of trying to go deeper and just punch some holes. Um, my theory in this area is in Alberta, the gold is sort of like, let's say you have a gram per ton of gold or whatever. It's going to be in really, really well distributed. So whether you take half a shovel or a full shovel or, you know, a double shovel into a pan, your colors are going to go from 50 to 100 to 200. Whereas here, I feel like you're gonna find nothing in this shovel, nothing in that shovel, nothing in that shovel, and then bam, you know, 0.2 of a grams, big picker. So I am initially just gonna do a couple little spotty pans, see if I can read anything out of the black sand, but then I'm just gonna move straight to work a hole, find a spot behind a rock, and do like five pans there. Nothing, move on to the next spot, do five pans there, sort of more bulk sampling. I'm not super experienced with the whole BC thing, so we'll uh, see how I do. I, I kept finding this little fine flower gold stuff, and I'm thinking maybe if I come out here, since I'm just panning, um, if I were to claim this area, you obviously couldn't set up a high banker here, so I'm not exactly prospecting in terms of trying to get myself uh, a mining claim doing this. I'm just like, let's... Let's see what I can find. And I'm just gonna do like five pans right here and go deep. I am five pans in, and I just can't help but look at all the beautiful rocks. Um, obviously hoping to find a giant nugget as I go through these, but uh, some cool little pieces of quartz. Come on, where are you? There we go. But, uh, yeah, so this is pan number five. We'll see what we get total at the end of all these. Leading up to this, I did sort of peek at the bottom of the pan just by giving it a quick swirl. But this is five pans uh, full of those little shovels. So, at this point, I would just swirl, but we're just gonna, oh, look at the bottom. Look at all that gold, yeah, we're swirling. That is pretty cool. And there's character to this stuff. Look at those chunks. Wow. So obviously not a huge amount, 
But I am, like, those are massive by Alberta standards. Uh, let's set this thing down. Just got my classifier sitting here. So, that's slipping. We're gonna set this down here. Yeah, I can't do anything with one hand. I'm holding a, holding the camera with one hand, so we'll just do this. There you go, we've got the very first gold sitting in the snuffer. I think that was enough. As I was getting deeper, it was getting better. And so I'm gonna do another five from this hole and we'll, uh, we'll touch base at that pan. I lied everybody, I said I'd talk to you in five more pans. This was the very next pan, right there. Finger for scale. I I did start uh, dialing my panning in a little bit better, I think. So right when you get to this bottom part, you gotta watch those corners. If you're doing like really big swirls like that, some of the gold can actually work up to one of those corners. So just real gentle vibrations like that. Rinse it out. And just when I get to the bottom of the pan, this section, I'm being a lot more careful instead of just swoop half empty the riffles and hope it's all in the bottom because I do not want to lose another pretty piece of gold here so let's bring that all back there we go and I think it's uh, it's time to move away from the riffles here I gotta say one-handed this is just awkward looking but Look at that, we already got some gold showing up in that corner. Just one pan, this is not bad. Okay, so let's be careful here. Don't wanna like on YouTube have the little piece of gold just shoot out of the pan and into the water in front of everybody. Oh, the wavy, wavy water is kind of tricky here too. I, uh, I shouldn't be panning this far down. I should slosh back in the pan, but I want it to look nice and concentrated for the swirl. Oh, hang on a minute. Look at that. That's one pan. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's get this uh, rock out of there. All right, one more slosh. I got to stop looking at the camera and look at the gold. Okay, here we go. That is some fine looking stuff. Still very small compared to a finger, but. So yeah, for one pan, that's not bad. I'm gonna tap that into the corner, snuffer it up, and we'll, we'll carry on like this a little bit longer. It is getting pretty dark. I've got about a 20 minute hike out of here, so. We'll see. Back's feeling pretty sore. I uh, just keep getting, you know, some small, chunky stuff in each pan. Uh, got the end of this last pan, and we'll see what's in that, and then I can put the snuffer bottle in, and we'll sort of see what it all looks like together. Let's do something really good, obviously. But... All right. There we go. Final pan. I wish that it would show up better. It's kind of dark. Anyways. Swirl her back. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep panning. That's pretty flat, but yeah. Don't drop it, don't drop it. Well, I picked it up, it's a picker. Ha. Not a clinker, because I can't hear anything over the river. Um, yeah. I'm gonna keep shoveling. And I'm pretty sure, if I, oh man, I really need to get that GoPro out, anyways.
Oh man, okay, hang on. Sorry guys, let me get some water in the pan. It's floating in front of me. This is just super awkward. But I gotta see if it fits. Nope, it sticks. <laughs> All right, more pans. There it is, your actual final pan. So, it's getting dark as you can tell. Um, this has just been really fun. My feet are wet and it's cold, but they're not freezing. I'm just out here feeling the wind on my face. Got a nice little creek next to me here and every pan there's something in it. Sometimes it's something different, a little chunky. It keeps it exciting. It's not just counting specks. I think that's really cool about British Columbia. Um, lots to learn, obviously. And uh, I'm just... Like, I'm going to go sleep in my car somewhere, you know, knock half the trip off off the way home. And uh, tomorrow, I can spend the first few hours of the day coming back here when the sun's out, dig a hole behind another boulder and see what's there. Or, I did bring the snorkel and mask, and maybe I try my hand at sniping for the first time. So, <laughs> the world is full of possibilities. I'm very excited about it. Let's get this last pan done and we'll we'll see what our total take was. I'll show you the total of what's in that snapper bottle. Um, I'm not sure how to weigh it. Like I don't have a scale, so when I edit this later I could I could weigh it, but I, I want to use that same snapper bottle tomorrow. So unless I dump everything into a vial, which I, it's dark, I don't really want to. I don't know if I will give you a weight in this video. Um, let me know in the comments below. Anytime you comment, it, it shows the algorithm that you know, you're engaged in the video, you like it, it'll show it to more people, that helps me out. But mainly, let me know how important it is to get a weight in these videos. I might be able to write in the comments what it weighs, because you probably want to know what that big chunk weighs. I should definitely save this goal for that. But anyways, let me know regardless if that is important to you guys, and uh, let's get this last pan done. As you can tell, the sun has proper set I don't want to linger. I do have a headlamp, obviously. Let's just make sure we... Get everything out of there. All right. So... I might have to show you this later, just to do it justice. But, uh, is this gonna work? There we go. It's not bad, that's, that's showing up at least. Not a whole lot here, just uh, a finger for scale. Man, I wonder if I can, uh... Woo! Hey, there you go. I'm gonna not wave this around right in front of you here for a second and try to just ease back. Oh yeah, there's actually a lot of fines in here. Why don't I get rid of all that garbage? Amazing. Wow, that's pretty cool. Okay, so dirty pan, but let's... Tucker up there a little bit. So, there you have it. That is a beautiful pan of gold with one, albeit very flat, uh, that is a substantial, a very substantial piece of gold. That's beautiful. Oh man. <laughs> well, I'm happy with that. Um, 
I, I don't know. I'll, I can at least weigh that little chunk for you later, depending on if I can fit this all into a vial or if I just use the same snuffer bottle tomorrow. Anyways, that is all. Just a video of close-ups of panning. Uh, no adventuring in this one. <laughs> just, yeah. Did what I could, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, until the next one, cheers and thanks for watching. That's a bat. How cool is that? I personally think the coolest thing about these bats is when I, you know, if, if they ever do swoop close to your head, you can hear a bird. You can't hear bats. They are so quiet. And they're eating all the bugs. Keep up the good job. <laughs> Wow, that is too cool. Anyways, this is my giant tent-shaped rock I'm dealing with. On the way back up and out of here. That was rough. Cleared out a bit here, but talk about, uh, uh, I don't know, it's, it's dark for one. You know, the bats going around, you're just walking face first into spider webs. Um, sort of brush an angry spider off your face. <laughs> Canadian spider, hopefully. And it doesn't kill me. Um, I'll kind of knock them down with my shovel here. But it's, uh... yeah, I was getting excited there when I saw that last chunk. I probably should have left a little earlier. Whew. Can you hear the highway? Just barely. Pretty excited about that big chunk of gold. <laughs> yeah. A little easier going now. Not the real steep part. Back to semi-civilization. I haven't said it already. Cheers and thanks for watching. <laughs>